in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make hot ama piano like just the 99 right here on caustic 3 and guys if you are a person who cherishes nature and african wildlife you and your family could take a break this holiday and visit the Gualate game lodge where you guys can enjoy the african nature at its fullest and guys the lodge is full of wonderful venues where you can relax and guys the good news is that i'm going to be giving away this hot just the 99 ama piano project file to you guys for free yes guys for free but guys before you download this project file make sure that you subscribe and watch this video carefully because in this video i'm going to be giving you guys the unlock password for this hot project file okay guys let's get right into this video so basically what we're gonna start by doing in this just a 99 type beat is that we're gonna start by going to my first beatbox which contains the shakers and then this is how it sounds like all in all and guys what i did in here is that i used this DJ loop to start my beat which sounds like this nice and simple guys and guys moving on to my next instrument this is the normal shaker and then I have the Rashki Vox too. And then when you mix all those things up, they make this incredible sound, guys. Super hot. And guys, moving on to my next instrument, I have my strings, which sound super cool and nice, guys. And guys, this is how my strings look like in the level. And then, guys, the other tip and trick that I'm going to show you guys on the strings is that I lowered my volume of the strings, guys. So when you lower your volume of your strings, you get a high quality beat because, like, the strings have to go down so that the lock drum can overpower and then your beat will be super hard. So, guys, make sure to keep the string volume low at all times. Okay, guys, moving on to my next instrument, I have the bass D. And this is how it sounds like. And guys, this is how it looks like in the level. Just nice, round, wobbly. Okay, guys, so I also have pattern 2 of my bass. And then this is my pattern 2. And guys, basically you guys are wondering on how I did these skips right here. So guys, let me quickly show you guys on how I did this cool skips here. Okay guys, so what I actually did is that as you can see, the 2 times 0 grid, when you click it, it's going to take you to this note grid. As you can see, you're going to go to the last second note, which is this one right here, as you can see. After clicking it, it's going to give you smaller scales, as you can see. And then once you use those smaller scales, you'll hear that it starts to make a skidger skipping effect, just like this. Super hard, guys. Hope you guys have learned on how to do more of skija skips and more of the hot skija beats okay guys moving on to my next instrument i have the bass d2 and then which in the level sounds like this super cool and this is how i placed it nice and simple guys 
okay guys so moving on to my next instrument i have my melodies which are in the substance the pq circles and they sound like this nice and hard guys and guys the quick tip and trick for the substance is that once guys you're in the substance you guys can see this thing called the octave the octave you guys can use it to make nice dope melody for example when i twist this octave thing it changes the melody to make them doper just like that guys so you guys can also use the octave to modify your melodies to be super good and i'll return them where they were so they were here that's super cool guys so and guys you don't have to download the pq circles anyway you find it in the substance what you're gonna do is go to select preset scroll down as you can see here's the pq circles right there and then you can use the octave to make different types of melodies just like that guys hope you've learned a lot in the substance okay guys moving on to my next instrument i have the saw synth the most important part of the jammo piano and then this is how it sounds like super hot guys and the saw synth you don't have to download it too let me quickly show you guys you find it right there saw synth and then you can start using it just like that guys so super hot and what i actually did to the source thing is that i'm not sure but i added some reverb as you can see to make it sound cooler so let me quickly show you guys how to add the reverb and the delay you're just gonna press the plus button it's gonna show you reverb you're gonna click it you're gonna leave it like that and then you're gonna press this plus button again you're gonna press the delay and you can twist the delay on the time button so that it can go on your favor the way you like it guys so i like my time when it stands someone there okay guys so that's how you use the delay and the reverb on plastic 3 okay guys moving on to my next instrument i have my lead which is nice and soft guys you won't even hear it okay guys so this is how my leads sound like yep guys they are rough and have less quality but guys right now the tip and trick that i'm going to show you guys is how to master your leads when they sound like this and you want them to sound like this so guys here are my leads and this is what i did to them so they can sound good and have good quality guys what i did is that i went to the mixer and then i went to the lead so guys they were like this as you can hear them they don't sound nice so what i did to master my lead and what you guys can do to master your leads is to take the mid volume take it out make sure it's off and then take the high volume and turn it off too by pitching it down as you pitch it down guys you've already mastered your leads they have quality and guys that's how you master your leads very simple because when they sound like this they're not that cool and like this they're super cool so super cool guys moving on to my next instrument but let me quickly pause the beat moving on to my next instrument i have the toy which was pretty simple i just used these notes here as you can see to just make a recurring note over and over and guys so as you've seen my toy right now we're gonna go to the most important parts the lock drum so what i'm gonna do now is to pause the bases like this yep i think that's it and pause the lead too just like that guys okay guys so these are my lock drums my first lock drums are nice and soft and this is how they sound like guys
nice and hard guys and if you guys have probably forgot on how to do these cool skips here this cool giga skips let me quickly show you guys twice on how to do it so you guys will go to the last second note as i showed you earlier and then what you're gonna do it's gonna give you a smaller grid or zoom in into the grid and then what you can do now is that you're gonna use these smaller notes to make this skipping effect and you can also do this to make things sound cooler just like that guys that's how you do the skipping effect i hope you guys have learned a lot with that one so right now i'm gonna quickly remove them by pressing time and lasso and using this thing to remove the unnecessary parts just like that guys okay guys moving on to my next instrument i'm gonna be using the bass lock 2 again and then this is how it sounds like super hot guys and inside the level this is how my bass looks like what i did to make it sound super loud guys is that down here in the fx i'm pretty sure i added a reverb as you can hear it when i turn off the reverb it sounds empty but with reverb let me quickly put the reverb with you guys just like that and then sounds super hard guys so that's how i did my second lock drum okay guys moving on to my next instrument i have my lock drum 3 and then this is how it sounds like guys in the level this is how it looks like and then inside the grid this is how it looks like super hard guys so my third lock drum guys the main purpose of my third lock drum is to boost the soft lock drum the first soft lock drum so that it can hit hard and then my second lock drum wasn't actually a lock drum was just to make things sound cool so guys my third lock drum was to boost my first lock drum so guys my advice is that when you use this soft lock drum make sure to boost it with an original lock drum like this one so that your beat can have that hardness of feature effect okay guys so i hope you guys have learned moving on to my next fx's so these are the fx guys so they sound like this and inside the channel i have my first fx and lastly i have this fx and guys you guys should make sure to use FXs on your bees because when you use FXs on your bees, guys, FXs are super cool on beats. So, guys, make sure to try that out because beats with FXs sound super professional and cool. For example, let me play it where I have my FXs, and you guys will feel how exciting a beat with FXs, different types of FXs, just like that and this one super hot guys hope you guys have learned a lot in this tutorial make sure to watch more tutorials i'll be releasing thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe